are you? Good. Say hi, guys. Bathing hands are out in the woods. Are they? Yeah. Yeah, we'll get them back. All right. We're already in the middle of doing everything, and then I realized, oh, hey, grab the camera. <laughs> We're moving the, I'm sure you guys have seen the um, uh, camper in the background of a lot of videos. Um, we're moving that up to, well, maybe I should just show you. Um, we're moving it up to by behind the pool, basically, with the trees behind the pool. It's not, there we go. Uh, so he's hooking it up to the truck now. We're going to move it up there, real close to the trees and out of the way. Because in that area right there, there's a, a sort of an, a big indent and I want to make the dog kennel there for the dogs. What, honey? Look at, <laughs> look at Charlie. Okay, um, so they're moving that so I can make a dog kennel for these dogs. We were gonna move the hens. We were gonna sort of flip flop the shed with the chicken coop. I don't know if I'm gonna do that anymore. I got the kids getting, uh, well they took out the goats, getting them some exercise for today and while they're doing that, I'm going to move their fence because I'm, okay here's the thing, I'm noticing there's a lot of wasted space on the property, so there's like little pockets of areas, they're actually not that little, so when you add it up it's actually quite a bit of space that's being wasted. So like this, for instance, this was garden last year. We're not doing garden this year, but we've got all this area here that's wasted. Um, that is, that can go to the goats. I mean, sorry, that can go to uh, one of the other animals, like meat chickens or something. Plenty of stuff grows in here, plants, because we had a garden here. We have a lot of um, uh, volunteers coming up from last year. The grass is all overgrown over here, so the, if we move the meat chickens here for now um, and kind of move and move the uh, goat fence kind of outward more so we'll go out into sort of the middle of this area and on that side there's the same thing over where are we it's on that side between that and the trees there's this whole area that's empty and I'm like why are we wasting so much space so we're gonna take the goat's fence, we're gonna kind of wrap it in that little nook, bring it back around here, and then come closer this way. Then the meat chickens are gonna come over here with their tractor, we're gonna put their fence up over here, and that'll come out this way. I think we may end up just leaving the hens. I was gonna flip flop them, because we were gonna take all these fences and make one giant uh, basically run for all the animals except for the rabbits to uh, to get into but I don't know if I'm gonna do that anymore so I don't know it's kind of a I'm not sure I want to completely block off this area that's why we use this over here for butchering um, we use it when we have uh, parties for we set up tables things like that so this is because this is the flattest area this is flat over here so I don't know if I'm going to do that. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to leave the hens where they are and leave the shed where it is and just kind of divide everybody up that way. Trying to find a spot for these meat chickens has been a thorn in my side because <laughs> we've been running them on the grass. We've done a couple rounds of that already. Uh, we butcher the biggest ones on Saturday so a lot of them are going to be gone now. So I'm thinking we're just going to putting them over here where we have all this extra vegetation and let them eat it and let them enjoy it.
to be liking their new home. They're scratching like crazy in all the leaves because there's a lot of a lot of uh, volunteers under there. Vegetable plants. I think there was, uh, what was over here? We had different squashes. We had pickle, I mean, uh, cucumbers, peas. We had all kinds of stuff over here. What do you think? Do you think, that, you think they're happy? All right, next is all the hens that are in the greenhouse are jumping out like crazy. So it's time for them to graduate in, not the hen house, the brooder. Uh, it's time for them to graduate to the hen house. And I have the cage, it's all cleared out. I'm gonna put that in there and then get them out and put them in there. And then we need to graduate the meat birds from this brooder, put them in that brooder, and put the new meat birds in this brooder. How many eggs did you get earlier? Four? Four. Watch out ladies, we got newcomers coming. And you guys want to help me bring them over here? The hen, there's the hens from the brooder. It is a lot of work when you have limited supplies because your fences are still on back order and lots of animals that you need to organize. Aiden's getting all the uh, small, well, medium sized hens, I guess, out of the woods because they got out of the fence. And we're going to put them in here uh, in the hen house. And then, well, these guys have already got the idea. I'm gonna free range the big guys and then put the itty ones, so the smaller ones that are jumping out of that brooder into this fence, or no, cage. He is the chicken wrangler. I'm not kidding. I have been out, I was out all morning trying to catch these guys and he's already caught three. <laughs> he is absolutely the chicken wrangler. How do you do that? I just catch them, it's easy. All right, don't let them out. I'm gonna put these guys in here. Are those the new, uh, these are the new guys. The new guys, okay. Well, the newer guys. Got one. Oh, she's got one. Okay, go ahead, put it in there. Oh, that guy. All right, those chickens are done. I think, I don't know, what's Aiden doing? Is he still wrangling up the other ones? Oh, he's done, okay. Now I gotta clean out this brooder and put the new chickens in it. Or no, the other chicken, the meat chickens in it so I can put the new meat chickens in the other brooder. Is this confusing to you? place I do need to go over to Walmart I mean not Walmart uh, Home Depot and get some uh, t-posts we got I got it they're kind of like this but they're going in at the bottom they need to be staked in so I'm gonna go do that now These guys are cleaning the pool kids have already been in it <laughs> I tell you what guys it's only three o'clock and I'm exhausted I've been doing this stuff since seven this morning not complaining, just saying. <laughs> all right, we are back. We got them all staked in with Aiden's help, and now we're gonna plant our seeds. <laughs> 